guys, this is Bianca of the Bianca channel once again and today I have already done my makeup as you can see and uh, this video is all about the full review of the automatic hair curler that I bought from Shopee as promised so yeah I'm just gonna set it up and then I'm gonna curl my hair and after that I am gonna do the full review. So here is the automatic hair curler. This is the box. And this is what's inside the hair curler itself. And there is one comb with fine teeth for sectioning your hair and uh, two pieces of these hair clips when you're sectioning your hair and one manual so don't worry guys even if there's Chinese uh, letters Chinese instruction there is also an English instruction on the other side so you're not gonna have a hard time um, reading the instructions before you curl your hair so, as you can see here, there is an on and off button right there. This is what you will be clicking when, when you're already curling your hair. And upon reading the instructions, it says there that when you're curling the left side of your hair, you're going to click the left button. And when you're curling the right side of your hair, you're gonna click the right button. So it's really easy, guys. Madali lang siya gamitin, lalo na for beginners and those who don't know how to use uh, the uh, normal hair curler or the curling iron. So it's really easy. This one is the one that heats up. So once you've uh, opened it, there's gonna be a sort of light here. Uh, indicating that it's already open and then this one will heat up so yeah, I'm just gonna section my hair and then I'll be back so I've sectioned my hair already and let's see it's a bit hot now so this one is the left side of my face so I'm gonna click the left button for your curl you're just gonna have to uh, place the strand of your hair like that and then it's gonna curl so you're gonna leave it for how many seconds depending on how thin or thick your strand of hair is since mine is only a thin part of my hair, I only left it for a couple of seconds, maybe five. But if you have thicker hair, or uh, you're gonna curl a thicker part of your hair, a thicker section, you might want to leave it for at least 10 seconds. See? See how that curls? Probably gonna leave it for at least 10 seconds.
you're not satisfied with how it turned out, you can always recurl it. As you can see, it's very easy to use. You just have to section your hair properly so that you won't have a hard time recurling all the all the hair that's not been easily curled. This is the last. Then maybe I should just. Section it part it into half so that I can curl my hair easily. So really it's just it's so it's just really depending on how thin or thick you part your hair. So when you part your hair thinner, it's gonna curl faster. When you section it into thick layers, it's gonna curl uh, maybe more than 5 seconds. So we're among 10 seconds at the most. So the last one for the left side. So 
right side. As you can see, my hair has been curled. You can also curl your bangs, actually, but I'm not sure if I can do it right. bangs like this just be sure you're not gonna let the iron touch your skin or scalp see that bangs right there it looks pretty right so yeah if you're gonna curl your bangs just like what I did make sure it's not gonna touch your face or your scalp because it's gonna get burned because this is really really hot I'm just gonna do the other side. Since this video is very long, I will be doing the other side of my hair on the part 2 of this video. So see you guys there!